So let's continue in unit 4-3 where we are given a polynomial and a zero and we have to find the remaining zeros. So let's look at this example here and they told us that we have a zero at negative 2i. And because what we know about imaginary and complex numbers, they always travel in pairs. So that means that we know we also have a zero at positive 2i. And this is a fourth degree function, so I know I'm looking for four solutions. So I'm gonna just go ahead and write that four times. So they already told us that one of our solutions was negative 2i. And because they travel with a partner, we know we also have one at positive 2i. So let's find the other two. In order to do that, we're going to do long division. If you multiply x minus 2i times x plus 2i, you get x squared plus 4. So that's what we're going to divide into our polynomial. And again, we're going to follow the steps for long division. Okay, so steps for long division. We, we always begin with dividing the first terms. So in this example, the first term is 2x to the fourth, and I will divide that 2x to the fourth by x squared. So when I divide 2x to the fourth by x squared, I get 2x squared. So that's going to go on top. Now we're going to take 2x squared and multiply it by x squared plus 4. And make sure we are lining up our like terms. So when I take 2x squared and I multiply it by x squared plus 4, I get 2x to the 4th plus 8x squared. Okay, again, notice that I'm putting that under 17x squared. And then we're going to subtract. So both of these get a sign change. This is canceling out. And we have 9x cubed plus 9x squared. And I usually bring down one more, plus 36x. Okay, so now we're ready to repeat that process. This is our quadratic term, so now we need to find our linear term. So to find our linear term, we're going to divide 9x cubed by x squared. And that is going to give us 9x. I'm going to put that 9x here at the top. Take that 9x and multiply it by x squared plus 4. Lining up your like terms, 9x times x squared would be 9x cubed. 9x times 4 is a positive 36x. We have to do our sign changes. We're going to do a change, change, and this is canceling, and so does this one. So we have two more terms to bring down. We have 9x squared, and we have a positive 36, and we're ready to repeat that one more time. Remember, when you're doing long division, if you don't end with a remainder of zero, something is wrong. Because that is what that factor theorem says. When you're dividing by a factor, your remainder should be zero. So we're going to take 9x squared and again divide it by x squared. That's going to give us a positive 9. I'll put that at the top. And then we take positive 9, multiply it by x squared plus 4, and then that's going to give us 
9x squared plus 36. We do our two sign changes and we end with our remainder of 0. So what we have done is created our quadratic that we can now factor or you can use the quadratic formula. So we have 2x squared plus 9x plus 9. We're going to factor and solve this to find our last two solutions. Feel free to pause the video, factor it, and see if you get the same answer. So if you factored it correctly, you should have received the factor of 2x plus 3 and x plus 3. When I set both of those equal to 0, I get my last two roots, which are x equals negative 3 half and x equals negative 3. So we have found all four solutions of the function provided. Let's do one more example. So notice that this one has the quadratic formula. There is a reason why, because we're going to need it. So again, this is a fourth degree, so we're looking for four solutions. They told us one of our solutions was positive i which means that our second solution that we know we have is a negative i. If you multiply x plus i and x minus i, you should get x squared plus 1. So that is what we're going to divide into this polynomial. So we're going to begin by dividing our first term, which would be x to the fourth divided by x squared. And that gives us our quadratic term of x squared. And now we're going to take that x squared and multiply it by x squared plus 1. When you do that, you should have x to the fourth and x squared. Do your sign changes. We have negative 2x cubed positive 26x squared and I'm just going to drop down the next one too. So we are ready now to repeat. When we repeat the second time we're going to divide negative 2x cubed by x squared and that's going to give us a negative 2x that goes on the top that's our linear term and then we're going to take that negative 2x and multiply it again by x squared plus 1 when we do that we are going to get negative 2x cubed this is negative 2x cubed and this is a negative 2x we gotta do our sign changes which is going to change both of these to a positive and this one is going to cancel and so does this one drop down our last two terms and divide it again. So we have 26x squared divided by x squared and that gives us a positive 26. I'm going to put that on the top. Now we have our full quadratic that we need to now use the quadratic formula because unfortunately this one will not factor. When we distribute that 26, we are given 26x squared and a positive 26 
we do our sign changes and we are happy because we have a remainder of zero. So we can be confident that we have the right quadratic. So now, since it's not factorable, let's go ahead and use the quadratic formula to find the last two solutions. I usually start with my discriminant, which is b squared minus 4ac. So when you type that in your calculator, the negative 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times 26, you should get negative 100. And actually, I don't want to put an x there because I don't want you to think that's a solution. That's just my discriminant. So to finish it out, I have x equals the opposite of b. b is negative 2. The opposite would be positive 2. Plus or minus the square root of negative 100 divided by 2 times 1, which is 2. The square root of negative 100 is 10i because the square root of negative 1 is i and the square root of 100 is 10. So my solution would be positive 2 plus or minus 10i divided by 2. Now this can be reduced because all of these numbers can be divided by 2. So my final answer would be 1 plus or minus 5i. So that means that, and you could also put that over 1, but we know when we divide by 1 that it doesn't change anything. So my last two solutions are 1 plus 5i and 1 minus 5i. So when we look at this, notice that all four are imaginary. So this function does not have any x-intercepts. It's an even degree. Both arrows will face up, but it will never come down far enough to touch or cross through the x-axis.